All right, let's see. Let's see. Let's go. Let's go top down. Yeah, let's let's let's, let's check out these drums. This is gonna be boring. I bet this isn't that cool. Wow. I know, right? <laughs> Never heard a kick that cool. Oh my god, hi-hats. Addictive drums. Just just use addictive drums just for the hi-hat. Just for the hi-hat. Let's check out the drum bus. Nothing. <laughs> cool. Oxide. Wow, I was obsessed with oxide here, huh? What else is there? That's pretty neat. Is it? Before I did the look at her now breakdown, I went back to like the, you know, because I print shit for like CPU purposes. You know, I don't want to have like eight instances of XO or a Juno running, you know, for like the last iteration of the project. So I print stuff. So. So let's go over this drum bus. I usually like go by this here in Cubase. It's like swing percentages, you know, so I have like percentages saved that I start with. But then after a while, like I usually just do it by ear or kind of keep shit off the grid a little bit. Like, I mean, you can see this, this hi-hat is a little bit behind the kick. Sometimes I'll, I'll, I'll like put a value here of like five milliseconds to like lag it a little more, you know, type shit. These drums are pretty fucking simple, man. All right. So again, this will be a little bit of discovery for me too, because fuck if I remember this shit. All right. Very simple, like underwhelming drums, man. Like, look, okay, let's talk about this. So these are all going through the master bus with literally. I think what makes these drums cool, honestly, the, the coolest thing about these drums is the hi-hat shit, which is addictive drums. Maybe I have it hidden. Nope. Fucking deleted that shit. Um, these guys. Because without it, it's literally all the personalities in the hi-hats. Let's go to the pre. All right, we're, gonna, we're still going to check out the layers that just came in on the drums, but I want to see what's on the master bus here. Oxide. I mean, none of this matters because I didn't mix it. So this is just what I had on my master bus. Like without my master bus, it, it sounds like that. Oxide kicking ass. A little bit of OTT. Light OTT. Okay, all you haters. <laughs> What's the controversy with OTT? <laughs> I saw some YouTube video. This dude was just trashing it. And I was like, oh, shit. It, it has its uses, though, you know? Like, look at, look, like, look at the setting. Like, let's be objective here, okay? Let's be objective. Listen to the difference, right? I'm, I want to... For me, it's a little shortcut into just, like, brightening up your shit in, in the session, you know? But, like, fuck, man, it sounded good, so I kept it on there. Um, yeah, let's listen. Oh, we gotta try to cancel out the volume benefit. I mean, it's just a little, a little bit of niceness, a little bit of niceness, you know. But I will say, the guy that was talking shit about this, he's not wrong. If you abuse OTT, you'll fucking fuck your shit up, man. Like I turned off the expansion. You can do that by clicking, command clicking, you know. Um, and also, since uh, Steinberg came out with their Squasher plugin, which pretty much is like a way better version of OTT, then, uh, you know, I don't use OTT much anymore. All right. What do we add in this pre? We did something. Oh, yeah. A little shaker. What else we got going on here? Oh, we got some interesting shit. Okay, you know what? These drums are interesting. I'm, I'm with them. 
Which clap is this? That's an Oliver clap. See, I printed all these things. I don't remember. That's like an alternate weird hi-hat rhythm. Okay, anyways. I don't even remember where that fucking thing is from. That's got to be some like Oliver loop or like a Leno loop maybe. It's just called the loop. Good job, bro. You fucking... I guess. All right. What is that anyways? Honestly, I don't remember where the loop came from. This is a year ago, but we can go through the fucking effects on it because that shit's crazy. We'll go over that. Anyways, I the drums are nice because they're very tasty, right? They don't like, they don't try to hog the stage, you know? They kind of just do their job, which I like. Alright, so, what else? Let's check out the- alright, fuck these drums, man, it's just bullshit. Let's go to the bass. Whack-ass drums. Stupid-ass drummer. Oh man, we got some fucking layers. Oh, I know what these are, though. Damn, I printed them. Oh my. Ah. And the great reveal. This is the meat of that bass. Let's find out what I'm going to process it because I don't fucking remember. Oh, Saturn and trash. That's what's doing it. All right. Let's go over this. This, this is a worthwhile. You know what, man? I'm going to fucking save this one because I like this. Anyways. Let's check out this fucking amazing... Leaf fun. Oh man, OTT, you're not leaving me alone, are you? Q3. Oh, right. Okay, so here's why. Check this shit out. So, I remember now because this is the sub. All right, so before we even get to the plugins, real quickly, you got to notice the size of the MIDI notes and shit. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. All right. Look. Look at the MIDI, because this is important. Like... Like, that, that shit, that shit is a is majority of the feel. The MIDI. So, now, let's go through the, uh... Oops, that's not even being used. Let's go through the, uh... Let's just solo the drums here. Okay, so check it out. Um, as as the listener, the listener doesn't know I have two bases. Okay, the listener doesn't know I have two instruments. I'm just saying this is this is this is about layering, you know. So as you can see, I'm I, I'm taking all the low end off this bass and a little bit of uh, dynamic uh, EQing going on. Did I just transpose it? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> that was weird as shit. Okay, anyways. So I'm taking all the low end past like, I don't know, 109 hertz out, and I'm using the reactor for the low end. And it's only hitting on the, like, if you notice the notes, they're only hitting, it's not doing the up notes, right? Boom, 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 boom. That way the little boop, boop is not like... You know what I mean? The listener doesn't know it's two things. They think it's one. <laughs> fucking idiots. <laughs> Let's go over the fucking the plugins because that shit is crazy. I love this bass. Let's turn them all off. Wait, hold on. I want to solo this. That's no plugins. All right, so we got Saturn. Then we got OTT. Then we got the Q3 that's taking out all the low end and a lot of high end too. Past 14. Ooh, then we have trash. 
Luke involved. That's just doing like most of the dirty work, right? Oh, hold on. We might have crashed. Ooh, Soothe is doing a lot on this too. Okay, so Soothe, Soothe is taking out like even more low end. That's kind of a redundant process going on right there, but that's okay. Anyways. I love that bass. I'm really kind of scared because I don't remember where this loop is from. It's a chop of something. It's like a splice loop doing something. I don't fucking... <laughs> I'm kind of worried. <laughs> I don't remember where it's from. Um, all right. Let's uh, go to... So that's the bass. Is there any more questions on the bass? Because that's... I guess, we pretty much covered it. And the, uh, the origin of the sound before any of the plugins is this uh, Trillion one patch. But obviously the plugins make a big difference. See what's on the, oh we got Saturn on the sub bass too. But the sub bass is a very uh everybody's watching it. Oh, that was an old ass song. I must have saved a preset. Anyways, that's the bass. Let's go to the uh so anyways, you can see that I uh eventually uh eventually I printed those. What is this one? Oh, I love that shit. All right, let's 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 move right along. Why do I have all this shit on here? See, this is the kind of shit that like, if I was a weirdo, I'd be like, well, you see, I wanted to add five dB to the highs because I felt like the feeling didn't trend. No, I have no idea why I fucking. I guess I thought it needed some highs, even though it just doesn't. Like, like, what is this really going to do? It's not doing anything. Whoa, song is... N Whoa! Whoa! Just kidding, what the fuck? Why am I using that CPU for what? Nothing. Wait, was I... Did I have... No. At least oversampling was off. All right, I have fucking bullshit. All right, um... Oh, my favorite part of the song. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go, okay. Oh, you know what? There is some cool shit here. This shit's hard as fuck. These are little ear candies that I fucking love. Let's go over. There's like a whole little sequence of things that happen here, including this fill. What is that little hook? Um, are you talking about the little? I don't know. Let's find out. Let's go back to that fucking uh, that thing. Hold on. I wish I could tell you, but I don't fucking remember. So it's just a rose, though. I use that. Nothing, nothing really. I use that. Let's uh. Let's uh. Let's move right along. We got a lot of effects. That's pretty neat. Oh, I was really doing a lot on here, man. Fuck. What the hell, Ian? Pad shop. We go over pad shop all the time. I have no idea where the fuck that came from. That sounds like a clock ticking sample with 
a delay set to like super tiny with the feedback up. Tuned it. All right, the workflow behind the earworms, that's a good question. It, that's last, usually. Like, that's like, you know, where, where can I make this more interesting? Where is there room to put in more, uh, you know, some more information? That's pretty neat. All right, the vocal processing. Let's just do that, because I guess that's more important. Let's take off all the plugins and listen. Dude, Zara's voice is fucking crazy. For a friend. Again, I usually deliver these vocal files like affected and unaffected, so I don't know which one. Um, oh my god, who fucking mixed this? I'm so dumb. I should have prepared. Anyways. For a friend. And then on the lead bus, we have... Oh, OTT. I should have known. Falling I'm gonna take off LFO tool for the moment. Although it's important what's happening with LFO tool because it's we'll get we'll get there. We'll get there. But a lot of automation going on, obviously. Um let's go through the effects. This is where I get in trouble with mixers, is because I put my effects before um, you know, as you can see, it's before OTT, which is even though OTT is not doing any expansion, it's still I just like the way that sometimes like a reverb will act before a compressor, you know? For a like if I put Echo Boy, right? Like look at the mix on Echo Boy. It's at, whatever, there's no value, but uh, it's very low uh, wet value, right? So like, think of it like this. <clears throat> uh, I'm compressing the signal, but before that, like if you just listen to the vocal without maybe OTT, for a friend. like, if I'm compressed, okay, here, let's see how to explain this. Think of it like this. If the, if the delay is before the compressor, then as soon as the vocal gets, comes, comes in, it's going to drown out the delay because the compressor is totally acting on that vocal, that, that energy of the vocal. But as soon as the, the main lead disappears and all that's left is the echo, the compressor is going to be like, oh, I'm chilling, and all, it's going to bring up the volume of the echo. So basically, it's like a way of making the delay come out when the vocal's not doing anything, basically. For a friend. You know, makes it super loud. So that's why, that's the explanation. Um, but here's the processing. So we have Echo Boy, OTT. OTT chilling though, with expansion turned off. Look, downwards is at 61%. And the overall depth is at only 36. So whatever... 61% of 36 is. I didn't come here to do math. You can see. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> oh boy. For a friend, Most uh, critical piece of this puzzle is Soothe. Because. Zara's voice has a lot of shrill frequencies in it, and you got to control those. Some vocals just have that. Like, every, I mean, actually, every vocalist has that, depending on the key you're in and all that shit. So, like, you know, Soothe is helping a lot of that. For a friend. That's pretty. For a friend. Like, listen, like, the word friend is kind of intense. For a friend. That eh is, like, kind of intense. For but Soothe is taking care of it. For a friend, for a friend, for that's, the, a, that's the extreme version. Listen. For a friend, for a friend, for a friend. Versus off. For a friend. Very loud. Soothe is... Ugh. I have emotional connection to Soothe. And, and, and Spiff, but Soothe especially for... It's like a, it's like a fucking... It's a Swiss Army knife of plugins. Um, um, okay, what would you do? What would you, what would you have done before I had Soothe? 
That's such a great question. Holy shit. Oh, let's see. I would have taken the Q3, right, and searched. Oops, wrong way. Like, you know how, like, when you, uh, this, the, the, the fab filter stuff does this awesome shit, like, when you hold the mouse over it. It holds the peaks and shows you what the, where they are. Fucking awesome. For a friend. So that's the friend, uh, there. That's the friend. For a friend. For a friend. That's not the, that's not the harsh one, though. The harsh one is like... 2-6, probably. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that, that shit, that's the fucking... I probably would have done that and then did like the dynamic thing, you know how you, you do that fucking thing like this? For a friend, ooh, you know for what I mean? A friend, ooh, for a friend, ooh, for a friend, ooh, for a friend, ooh, for a friend, baby, don't pretend. Damn, that shit sounds good. Um, anyways, yeah. But, like, yeah, Sooth does that for me, pretty much. Better than I would be able to, because it monitors them and changes, adapts. Um, I don't remember if we did the vocal in the session with the SM7 or the 251. I'm pretty sure we just did it with the SM7. Unless she recut it. Like, somewhere else. Because this was right before quarantine, and then we finished the vocal... They had to do other parts, like in the bridge, that I don't have on this session that they put in there when they were mixing it. So, anyways. Uh, I don't remember the, what, how, what, what was that fucking? It's you, but, but what's pitching you around? The fuck? Why am I? What's pitching this thing? I don't even remember what... There's an imager? Oh, fucking son of a bitch! I couldn't even find it. No. Synth, where are you? Maybe it's no. just that. Alright, I gotta go to an earlier version of the project, because I gotta, I gotta figure out what all that shit is, because that shit's fun. What the, oh, wait a minute, 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 I'm dumb. Is there a spark for us or is it just? I'm dumb. I know how it's doing it. Okay. Sorry. Brain fart, but here, I'll show you what it's doing. This is actually kind of interesting. It would be great if it didn't fucking crash so much. Okay, I understand now. All right, I'm using MIDI. Okay, I understand. I thought I was pitching the vocal, but this track, without LFO tool... But with MIDI, I'm triggering LFO tool to just let a sliver through whenever I do the rhythm. So it's actually not doing any notes, it's just doing the rhythm. Ian, you sly bastard. There was one track that I that I made where I like, here's what you can do with this that's really cool. You like, uh, you basically can put LFO tool like, <laughs> okay, watch this. Ooh, let's totally fuck this whole song up right now. I'm going to take this setting and I'm going to put it on the master bus. And I want to show you the cool shit you can do. Like, imagine a whole group full of uh, fucking synths or whatever the fuck you, you want. And you can gate all of them with your MIDI keyboard. Right? So like, let's see if this works. You get it? I'm triggering LFO tool. I wonder. So that's basically the gist of it. It's letting only slivers of the vocal through at a time. 
what's that track called? Spark Dot. Spark Dot. So that combined with, combined with, you know what I mean? Where's the bass, bro? Oh, this is some interesting shit. Um, like uh, a lot of um, check it out. Where is it? Where is it? Here. Okay, check it out. Let's go. Okay. Oh, here we go. So the vocals, right? If we cross the line. Man, where's the lead? There it is. If we cross the line, go under. Okay, so um, it's like a manual delay, right? Like I, I cut up. Wonder, wonder, if we cross the line. There's so many clicks in this shit. This is fucking whack. Yeah, these are all time stretched or time compressed. You can see the original lengths. But I compress them. So. If we cross the line, you know. If Let's listen to it just with the lead, so you can see. If we cross the line, go under. Covers close the blind. Will we be lovers? Or cut. Same shit here. Just cut up in time compressed. It's so weird. This is just this this represents the F, but then <laughs> I don't understand my process, man. A year ago, Ian is a fucking weirdo. Oh, these are um, these are Julia, but they're not in, these aren't in the song. I don't think. I wonder, oh, these were ideas because we had to track the, we didn't, we never got ad libs or anything. So like, uh, Zara was not in the States and like the fucking world was shut down. So <laughs> Julia came by and we did a bunch of ideas of like, oh, you could add like, you know, wonder, these harmonies. And then she, when and then she got and I gave her her engineer her and her engineer these stems, like hey like these are the ideas we came up with do whatever you want and like here's some guide you know guidance if you here's what we thought, and then you know she did a bunch of ad libs and maybe some harmonies and shit like that so, that's, pretty much a good example of why I'm missing all the shit on the bridge. We didn't use these. Alright, um, what else is interesting in this? Okay. Oh, you wanna see my fucking favorite part? I fucking love this shit! Okay, I just- this, this is- I remember- <laughs> I remember doing this and being like, That's the hardest shit ever! It's like the pre- the before echo. So, hold on, first the F forever, like the forever morphs into the is. So this right here is the forever echo, and this is the is of, is there a spark for us right here? Is there a spark for us? Sorry, that's a little octave, but yeah. Is there a spark? So it goes, it's like they transition. Cut the ties forever. Is there a spark? That shit's so hard. Turning it up. This song is so fun. Fucking love this shit. That's um. That sounds like I just pitched the lead down, but I used a little altar boy because I raised the formant instead of just doing like this. 
Is there a spot for us or is it just purely platonic? Is this a story art? Again, she, we couldn't track like more vocals because of Corona. Is, is there a spot for us? What's this shit? See, this is where my memory starts. I, I start forgetting what. It's all this shit. Oh, yeah, this is a really fun one. Oh, yeah, huh? Is it just purely platonic? Is this a story art? Because if it are, it'd be. I See, I fucking printed all this shit. Today. This is just, um, let's see what this is. Just pitch down verse. So I basically did a bunch of these, but then pitched them down. Even though if, if I would have, had we been able to do the vocal, I would have done that. Um, like, uh, and then do a take with like, uh, 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 but we couldn't. So, I mean, it ended up sounding cool though. It's cool to do it like this way. <laughs> Anyways, um, what else? Jacob Collier harmonies. Yeah, minus the fucking genius. I love Jacob Collier. The guy is so inspiring. Show us the pad synths. Okay. Let's see what we got. Well, see, I printed so much of it. Let's see. All right, let's go over these. If we cross the line, so, I'm going to mute the vocals. Because we all know those don't matter. <laughs> it's about the production, bitch. That's what every producer says. Or <laughs> likes to think. It's true. Sometimes. Actually, maybe not. I'm not sure. This is Pad Shop. I know it's Pad Shop. I know some electric piano. It's actually pretty boring. <laughs> what else is there in here? I mean, that groove, man. I fucking love that shit. This shit is hard as fuck, man. I forgot how good this is. Not like my stuff. I just like the song. The song. Lots of little pieces that complement. It's a little bit... I don't know. I did a little... It's a little too much, but it's okay. It works. It, it respects the bounce. What is that, guys? Oh, that's a lossy gate. These are all like random Omnisphere fucking, ah, you know what, damn it, what's the point if I'm not going to show them? See, like, here's what happens with this stuff, is like, I'll have an idea, and I'll use a weird synth to do it, but then I'll fucking, um, synth, like, it, it might be like some, like, overly CPU-intensive chain of plugins and a crazy synth, and like, I'll just be like, that's a sick idea, and then I print it right away, and then I go and load another patch. Like, I just, with com complete abandon. Like, I remember seeing a Noisia in interview of uh, <clears throat> Noisia, and they were talking about how they'll bounce stuff just to help themselves not be, like, more precious. And I feel like Skrillex does that, too. And I want to be more like that, you know? Like, I, I it, cause it, it's just, it just make it keeps it moving, you know? But unfortunately, it's like shooting myself in the foot when I'm going over a song on a stream, cause it's like, uh, yeah, I don't know what that synth is anymore. <laughs> I did it one point in time. But let me just, See if we get lucky. Whoa, this is an old bird. Oh, I did do the vocal. Okay, you know what? This is actually probably more interesting because this is the day we wrote it. This is the first version of it. Let me just 
listen. So this is the demo. Let's see what else other little interesting knickknacks are in here that we can uh, show off. I still don't know where this loop came from. I'm spooked. So I'm just going to mute it for now. <laughs> I don't know what it is. So let's see. Where's God? I... The other problem is that there's so much, um, like this stuff, this is, this is all Vix shit. Or wait, maybe it's Juan's stuff. Wait, who did what? Shit. See, at one point, uh, Juan did some stuff and then Vic did some stuff. And I don't remember. The guitar stuff is Juan's guitars that I chopped up. I think, right? Juan, did you do those? I, I don't know who did what. I should have gone over this before we did this breakdown, really, because I'm so missing information. Do you know how many fucking songs I work on? All right. What do you think makes this song unique? Um... I'll tell you what I like about this song. I like how the pre-chorus follows the dun 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 because, well, I guess that's like a producer reason. I don't know if that's actually a reason, you know, because the listener doesn't know which part came first. But like when I, uh, like the, the idea for the, that melody came from the riff first. The riff was originally, you know, the Rhodes thing. So I love, and this was Julia's idea. I love that she was like, "That should we should do that. Or it might have been Justin. I don't remember. But it was someone's idea in the room. It wasn't mine. To follow the fucking, that riff on the pre-chorus. Like, I like that. I like that a lot. I also kind of, I love the feel of this song. I love how it, like, how it rolls. Like, it's just like constantly just... You know, it's such a a roller. I love that feel. We already went over the effects, right? There's a lot of weird stuff going on here. Let's go through these layers on the fucking hook part because this shit is beautiful. These sounds are awesome. I want to make sure I get them all right. See, I think either Juan or Vic did this because I know this is not mine. Oh, it's fucking. This clocky is is Juan. Juan stuff? I mean, it's Vic stuff. Fuck. See, I didn't get to research this before the, the stream. So I, I don't remember. I have, there's directories with the, uh, you know, respective files, but, you know, like the way it worked is that. I, I told um, Vic and Juan, like, independently, I was like, listen, here's some stems, like, just do anything and everything you want. Put every little part you can think of, and then I, I'm going to sort through it after. So it's like I picked all these little parts of their, their, product, their additional production and, you know, peppered them in here and there. So <laughs> that's why I don't know what, who made what. Oh, that's embarrassing. Like, I'm pretty, like these are not. I don't think I. I don't think I did this. Doesn't... Yeah, no, that's like Vic stuff. I think this too. I think this is Vic. There's a lot of shit in here. God damn, I forgot.
I mean, I know I did this. Yeah, it doesn't really matter though. Honestly, it doesn't matter. It's just, it just all works together. All right, let's go to fucking, let's do something else, man. Martin Garrix Ghost produced it. That's, that's a compliment. Um, get out of here. This has been the most unorganized run through. How many times did it crash? Twice? <laughs> Jesus, bro.